yourself a nice looking rock bass goggle eye. We're figuring it out as we go here. Who are we and what are we what are we doing? We're about to be the world's best trout anglers. Hardly. We are headed down to the Eleven Point River. Uh, we're gonna start just north of Bolton, Missouri, and float down to uh, eventually take out near the 142 bridge. We're gonna trap some river otters. Not gonna trap any river otters. Mink? No. We got a crawfish trap and a minnow trap. See what that gets for us. Might take a uh, bull elk down. No elk. Maybe a moose? No moose. Hmm. All right, well, we'll get back to you on that. There's mountain lions. Uh, there might be mountain lions down there. There's definitely bobcat down there. Robert cat. So we forgot the worms. Worms are gone. We got more though. We got more worms, but we definitely forgot the worms. I saw a good, so, good log on the side of the highway, stopped over. We wanted to be getting out on the water around sunrise, around 7 a.m. Um, that's closer to when we left than when we were getting on the water. Um, it's all right, we're on our way now. About to cross over the current river, our other favorite river, but I think we're gonna add to that list this Currently weekend. Hidden. Currently heading through the current river, but we're pulling G's on this road. Yeah. Back on the 11 point, baby. Well, first time, I guess. Let's go, we'll catch a fish. Water's just turquoise. Okay. Well, morning one, a little damp. We had a misfortune yesterday. Slight misfortune. Slight misfortune about, oh, we made it well, about a half about mile. A mile in. <laughs> and then we ran into a log and we took a swim with the fishes and so did all of our gear, and so did all of our clothes, and so did all of our tackle boxes, and so did all of our fishing poles. Yeah, most of everything back, but. Mostly everything back, my cell phone is completely destroyed. Outside of that, Nick lost a couple fishing poles. And I my underwear most of the night last night. This is what you're seeing. He's been wearing that all night. We slept in our jimmies last night. We were able to get our uh, sleeping bags dry. Not much else, really. So. The tent. The tent, we did get dry. So it really wasn't terrible sleeping, but could have been worse. The plan today is to stay upright in the water. 
and hopefully we'll actually have time to fish today. Maybe. We got to cover quite a amount of ground because we had to stop early to dry everything out and make campsite way before we wanted to. And Nick forgot the pork chops, so we didn't have pork chops for dinner last but night. But I didn't forget the brats. But he didn't forget the brats. <laughs> they were just left in the uh, the not cooler. I blame the guy at Schnooks for that because I told him specifically not to do that. So last night we had a delicious meal of hot dogs and squash on the river. Yeah, we're still plenty good for food. Yeah. So now we're going to get back out there and try this all over again. Hopefully we uh, stay dry. Found one of the first springs. Really pretty flowers. Look how clear the water is here. Made it. <laughs> Buck. Did that? Yeah, I did. It's still buzzing around your feet. Fuck now. Let's go. Um, made it about a hundred yards this time and took on water. Became inches from flipping again. Inches. This canoe we have is a P O S. We have figured this thing out. Well, don't speak too soon, but we're seemingly a lot better than we were. Seemingly doing much better. Finally, boys, we got into some fish. Our luck has turned a little bit until Nick realized he lost his reel. Very moment. Or my reel and his other pole. But first, rainbow trout. Good size, too. Really, really pretty fish. So you can see the speckles in the water on them. A little bit calmer water, which is nice. Yeah, seriously. Farmer Joe back there onto his fourth reel of the fourth reel of the trip. How far have we made it? Five, six miles. We <laughs> seven miles, and he's he's about down a reel a mile Two of them at this rate, point, which was fairly impressive. Yeah. Well, let's hope we uh, get on some more fish here, and we manage to hold on to everything. Hopefully, somebody else doesn't find this GoPro in years. Hopefully, I will keep this through the rest of the trip. But at this rate, it's a, it's really a toss in the air. Coming around the corner on Horseshoe Bend here. Senior over here got himself a nice looking rock bass goggle eye. Yep. He's missing a piece of his tail. Oh, yeah. There. First, got, uh. Got his tail gone. Yeah. Something got after him. First, yeah, first fish of the trip. First for fish me. of the trip for Nick. Fishing the shallow, uh, kind of deep actually, uh, shaded section here. Rock base here. On uh, the edge of Horseshoe Bend. Things are looking better. And as soon as I, uh, as soon as I was free there, got another beautiful rainbow on. Rainbow, yeah, that is a pretty fish. Holy cow. We're eating good tonight, boys, as long as we don't tip again. Look at man. Okay. Confluent a rainbow trout. First time in my life. Oh man, they do have teeth. Look at this. Oh, the gills on the gills no, there. The teeth. Oh yeah, I, that's it. Wasn't bad though. I thumbed More than it. I expected though. Yeah, for sure. Here you go. All right, Con, gonna gut your first trout here. Is there a method to this madness? I have no clue. So uh, careful not to cut yourself. Yep. Yeah. Split those fins, I think. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Preston Petrie, for the uh, fillet knife there. Should I go all the way to the tail with this? You could probably lop that fin off. Lop that fin right off. Yeah. We're figuring it out as we go here. I miss that one a little bit sideways here. Yeah, it's all right, though. All right, we're going to be harder. Uh, you can still fly. I just didn't know if we're gonna hang them over a stick or a fire. You can put them through the gills. We can, well, we can do that grill too, or and we have Stoke aluminum that. foil. Oh yeah, shit. Okay. okay. This is good enough. For now. Okay. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Let's, uh... Hey guys. Well, we got a couple, uh, a smallie. We got some rainbow trout. We got a gobble eye. 
Now we just made it to this beautiful mill. What? I said somehow this is where it's down. Did we walk up over here? Yeah. Dreams they end in real life begin. Wow. Look at this place. Amazing. The whole night for a change. That time away is getting low. But the bills are paid, and my pockets are full. I'm a GoPro on you right now. Campsite. Day two. We're over here on Cinnamon's. Cinnamon's Creek. Cinnamon's Creek here. Cinnamon is the black bear that we're hoping not to see tonight. We got the uh, trout from today. Cooking on the fire. Walleye, some uh, on fire. rock bass. There we, go. we got the um, squash. We have the, here we got the rainbow trout. We also have a uh, catfish in line in right now. In. We were told by our friends that uh, own this property that Cinnamon lives somewhere around here and doesn't generally come to, to hang out with visitors, but. Sunset's about to go down. Trusty tent. Yep, I'm sure is. Now it is? Yep. Cinnamon's Creek. Morning number two. Back on the river. All of our stuff intact. As much as we've had for the last two days. <laughs> it's beautiful here though. Getting after it early here before we get picked up. No visits from Cinnamon, our friend, the black bear. Had last night a delicious dinner of trout and walleye and some rock bass with some squash. And uh, no visits from our friend, the bear. And uh, we're just floating now doing some fishing, so hopefully we'll get get some uh, day three fish here. First. Spotted bass. Spotted bass. Yeah. Beautiful. Man, not too big, but fun. Caught on a. Uh, Caught on a little spinner. Caught on a spinner. All right, back us up, back us up, back us up. We have another nope rope sighting. Man, why do they like to come so close to our canoe? That's what I, I don't understand that. Oh, there he is, an otter, river otter. Yeah, you can see how close you can get us to him. These guys used to be in danger down here. When Missouri State of Missouri was trading um, wild turkey to other states that were really hurting for wild turkey, that we traded more or less 
the state of Tennessee. There he goes. Yep, there he goes. What do you see, Con? Lots. Lewis and Clark's out there somewhere. Lewis and Clark out there, Pioneer in the Eleven Point River, and down south to Arkansas. Expedition number two. 